Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Well, I say different, I'm sure loads of people have done Let's Plays like this before. But I haven't read any rules, so I'm just going to act like this is something I created. <laughs> Definitely didn't. But yeah, today we're going to be playing through a kind of like cross between rags to riches and marrying millions. So I've got two sims here. This is the one we're mainly going to be playing with. Her name's Tiffany. She doesn't have a lot to her name, as you can tell. She's wearing, you know, ripped clothes. Doesn't have a lot of money. She lives on this, uh, this plot of land with very little with her teenage brother, Joel. Joel here, he's also got ripped clothes. They did have parents, but they died in a fire, so sad. And they left them with nothing, you know? The Sims 4 doesn't automatically give inheritance, so these two were fucked. Oh, I just realized actually, they still have their starter funds. Wait, wait, <laughs> great planning, Carla. Okay, there we go, problem solved. Now they really don't have a pot to piss in. So these two young people are kind of left to their own devices. Tiffany's decided she's going to take matters into her own hands to give her brother a better life. So basically, neither of them have any skills. They barely went to school. So Tiffany is going to have to make money by using her assets, basically. We're not doing a hoe challenge. Not this time, anyway. But we are going to be hunting down some eligible bachelors and bachelorettes in the town, convincing them to marry the beautiful Tiffany so we can steal their money and gradually make our way to over a million Simoleons. So Joel here, he's just going to stay at this plot of land. He's going to guard it for us. What I'm planning is that Tiffany will go out, meet people, maybe try and convince someone to marry her. If the person she marries already has a family, we'll just kick them out, get rid of them. No thanks, Welcome Wagon, I could do without you right now. So we'll move into the home of the future spouse of Tiffany, and then we'll have to find some way to uh, get rid of the spouse. That's right, I do have extreme violence installed. I wonder what role that's going to play. So yeah, hopefully, I mean, right now, they live in, like, a campsite, basically. But hopefully, by the time this video ends, they'll be living the life of luxury in a gigantic mansion, and it'll be happy days. So yeah, Joel is going to stay here, because as soon as we reach a certain financial goal, Tiffany's going to move back so we can upgrade this lot to a slightly bigger house, and we'll gradually keep upgrading it until we end up with a mansion. So... Joel, you stay here. Me and Tiff are going on a little trip. I do have a few Sims in mind who I know have a little bit of money who I can try and woo. So first off, we're going to start fairly small with the bro household. They've got quite a nice house here on the island. So I just need to try and woo one of them, get the other one to move out and then find a way to get rid of uh, the, the spouse. Hopefully I can be seductive enough. I wonder how much this house is worth. I mean, it's a good size, isn't it? So so what are our options? We have Sergio. Looks like Sergio is the only one home. Oh, wait, no. We also have Joaquin. I think we're going to try with Sergio. He looks like a slightly easier target. So let's uh, introduce ourselves to old Serge. Why don't you like the uh, the stereo? Isn't this like your thing? playing music. No need to be so tense, Sergio. Says they're having a pleasant conversation, but it kind of looks like he's being a bit shitty. Oh dear, he doesn't have much chat, does he? We feel like this is a bit of a boring conversation. What if I try telling a joke, huh? A joke, a funny story, maybe that'll lighten the mood. It's just changed to a casual conversation. Maybe if I just keep getting to know him, then I'll find out all of his traits. Stop looking so grouchy. Sergio. He's active. He's active and yet he dislikes fi fitness. Okay, fine. Okay, the comedy route seems to be working in terms of building this relationship. Okay, now they're having a funny conversation. That's good. Hopefully we're breaking his tension slowly but surely. Okay, now he's playful. Okay, okay, here we go. So it should be slightly easier to try and take a bit more of a flirty turn. Okay, I'm going to queue up offering a rose and kissing the hand just to see how he would react to a bit of bit of flirtation. 
Okay, maybe, maybe we're starting to get flirty. Maybe we could even end this meetup with a woohoo. I mean, we've got to move fast, don't we? Things have turned pretty suggestive. We should go in for a first kiss. I think maybe let's just uh, build up our romantic bar. And then maybe we'll, we'll, we need to work on our friendship a bit more, I think, before we can propose. Are we able to woohoo? Yeah, here we go. Woohoo. Let's go woohoo. And then we'll work on being friends. All right. All right. I think this one might just be in the bag. Oh, break out the candles. Break out those candles. How romantic. Okay, let's take a look at our relationship with Sergio. I hope she doesn't get pregnant. Okay, they're sweethearts. Ask to be boyfriend. And then maybe we'll, um, we'll build up that friendly relationship. Oh, ask to join household. Perfect. Hopefully I can get his little buddy to move out as well. Yes, moving in together. We will move in. And then once we get married, we will move the other guy out. Okay, shall we propose? Uh-oh. Oh no, Sergio, you can't die. Not after all that. Not after all that graft and all that hard work. He might be doing my job for me, but you have to at least wait until we're married first, Sergio. Oh, God damn it. Okay, can we go and propose to him? Oh, Sergio, when you caught fire, it really gave me a fright. Made me realize life is too short. And maybe we should get married. He might turn me down. Oh, no, he didn't. He got... He said yes. We're barely friends. Okay, well then in that case, let's just elope immediately. Elope immediately with Sergio. And then as soon as we say I do, this guy can fuck off. He kind of deserves it. He did just break the toilet. Okay, so I guess we're, we're married now. Oh, yes, here we go, spouse. Right, well then, Joaquin, you can split from household and move, buddy. We don't really need you around anymore. We'll send him with no money. He doesn't need money. I'll just merge him with the bear household. He'll be fine. There we go. You can go live with the bears. Okay, Sergio. Well, now it's just the two of us. I don't think there's any point in wasting any time. Uh, how should we kill him? <laughs> romantic backstab. Perfect. Yes, romantic backstab it is. He's even getting up off the sofa ready for this interaction. <laughs> Maybe he thinks I'm just going to give him a kiss or something. Oh dear. But you weren't expecting that, were you, Sergio? Tiffany has murdered Sergio. You should probably clean yourself up, Tiff. Um, you should scrub the blood off of your, your face. And I'm sure no one will suspect a thing. I think we should keep his grave because... Maybe we could do like an olive spectre and have like a little graveyard in the garden, maybe. Oh, look at her cleaning up. She's such a good egg, isn't she? Oh, there we go. We've got his grave. There's no point sticking around here. It's got a bit of a gloomy atmosphere in this house now for some reason. So uh, I think we should leave. We should move the household. Our brother's going to be so happy. We can finally afford a house now. Okay, we'll move back in with our brother and we will sell the furniture. 94,000, that's not bad, is it? Not bad at all for one marriage. Okay, Joel, good news. Uh, you know I said I'd go and get us some money. Well, I did. So how about you come over here? We're gonna upgrade our lives now. I'm just gonna pop in the gallery and find like maybe a starter home or something. All right, let's go for this one. Bye-bye campsite. Hello, first house. Brilliant, and we even have plenty of money left over. But that's okay, I know I could have gone for a bigger house, but I would like to have somewhat of a gradual increase. And also, Tiffany's gonna be fucking off again soon anyway to find another spouse. So, we wanna kinda leave Joel with some money to take care of himself, you know, getting the buses to school and shit. 80 grand will cover it, I reckon. Okay, so Tiff, you've done a great job. I think we should maybe go find ourselves another income. I mean, uh, a spouse. So I think Bob and Liz might be a good shout because they've got quite a big house, don't they? So it's probably worth a few simoleons, I think. Just turn up at their house at nine o'clock at night. Nothing weird. Oh, she's got 
widow mood buff. Overpowered by the, the titillating banter, though. Right. Who should we marry? We did just marry a man, and I'm all for, you know, embracing the uh, sexuality in Sims, so I think maybe Liz should be next. I think if we are flirty enough with Liz, we might even convince her to leave Bob. Hey there, Liz. How's it going? Right, we want to start off unassuming, don't we? Don't... Don't... Carry your knife around, you fucking psychopath. It's a friendly neighbour, okay? Not throwing a bloody knife around the place. Ask about her favourite colour. Her favourite colour is yellow. And to think I always thought it was green. Just do a few, maybe like a deep conversation or something. Okay, I've learned all of Liz's traits. Things are going pretty well. We're kind of getting friendly. I do think maybe if I get her playful, that might make flirting a little bit easier. Do you think maybe we should make a flirtatious joke? See how that, see how that lands? Okay, right, we're starting to get flirty now. Okay, maybe we'll try the offer rose, kiss hand, see how that goes. Oh, she took the rose, of course she did. Eliza, you minx. Things are getting pretty suggestive. Oh, Eliza, what are you suggesting? Okay, now we are very flirty. First kiss, done. Bob Bob hasn't even noticed. He's probably upstairs wanking in a sock or something. Ask to be girlfriend. Yeah, we will. Yes, we will. Oh, this is going swimmingly. I think she's agreed to be our girlfriend. <laughs> yes, yeah, she has. Oh... Should we woohoo in the shower? I think she will say yes. And then we'll get her to, uh, we'll convince her to leave Bob and then Bob can move out to make room for us. Literally woohooing in the shower, like in the room next door to Bob, but he's too busy playing fucking World of Warcraft to notice what's going on. Oh, Bob. I'm sorry. No protection was used. Really, I should have given her some kind of STD so that we could, like, get something spreading around the town, you know? Okay, can I convince... There we go. Convince to leave spouse so that we can propose. Yes, Eliza has left her spouse. Great. So then in that case, I think we should propose. We're a fast mover. We get the job done. And she said yes. You know, I actually do feel like Eliza should end up with a woman. Elope immediately. It's a shame her face is already sealed, but I mean, if this were a nice let's play, then maybe I would have let her live. Okay, yes, I would like to move in. Thank you very much. This is going to be awkward for Bob, isn't it? Right, so we're now a part of the Pancakes household. Bob is very sad from his divorce. You know what, Bob? Maybe it's time you move on. Maybe it's time you move out, buddy. I'll put you with someone nice. Don't worry. He doesn't need any money. He'll be fine. Kick him to the curb. Okay, Bob, you can just... You can join the goths. Okay, well, Liz, I'm sorry that it has to end like this, but it does indeed have to end like this. I'm going to go with the romantic backstab every time. I'm not in for the... This isn't about the gruesome deaths. This is about a means to an end. Tiffany is not the kind of sim that enjoys the thrill of the kill, you know? She's just trying to provide a good life for her and her brother. Hopefully Eliza doesn't fight back. Oh, shit. Shit, man. Eliza fought back. I'm going to have to try that again. Sorry, Liz. You weren't supposed to see it. Oh, Jesus. Tiffany, let's just end her suffering, will you? Just get it done. Just get it done. There we go. Sorry, Liz. It was... Only for money. Okay, let's scrub that blood off. Poor Liz, she's now a part of the sofa forever. Maybe mop up that blood there? So Grim doesn't get suspicious. See, I have a bad reputation, but what I don't understand is there were no witnesses. So how can I have a bad reputation when there are no witnesses? Right, let's just move households. Let's go back to our brother, see how he's doing. I just want to try and get a net worth of, like, a million simoleons. Is that too much to ask? Oh, 210,000. We're going to get a nice house now. 
Okay, we have a good amount of money now, so we should be able to afford a decent house. Maybe something like this, modern, sleek. Oh yeah, feel like our life is just upgrading by the second. Okay, okay, we actually have a really nice house now. Milestone complete. Own 30 windows. It looks like I've already achieved a lot of my um, aspiration. I haven't even noticed that yet. Well, Joel, this is your new home now. Enjoy it. I'm sure you'll only have it for a short time while I go out and make us some money. Also, I think we should change your default clothing because you don't need to be wearing scraps anymore. There we go, slight improvement. Not like in your face fancy, but just a notable upgrade. Right, so Tiffany, put that knife away, put it away. I think we should go and visit one of our neighbours, you know. I think we should go and see maybe Mr. Don Lothario. I cannot believe we managed to marry our way to this massive house. Okay, next stop, the Caliente household. Knock, knock. Only me. Right, this isn't going to be as easy because Don is already pissed off with me for cancelling the welcome wagon. So, it might take a couple extra interactions to get him on side, but... I don't know, I haven't ran into too much difficulty here. I don't think this is going to be that hard. Oh, you made me some hamburgers? Well, that's great, Don. Oh, little Joel's off to school. Have a good day, Jolie. Oh, okay, he doesn't really like me very much. I'm going to have to really work on it with, with Donny boy. You need to stop being so tense about your failed murder attempt. Tiff, seriously, life goes on. Okay, just like that, we're happy again. Great. That's good, because we need to try and get things on the... The good path with Donnie. Okay, we've gone to a pleasant conversation, so that's something. Compliment house. Yeah, let's compliment him on how much money he has. Just don't ask me about my relationship history. Maybe we should um, tell a few jokes just to try and get him in a playful mood. Oh, why are you so tense, Donnie boy? What about if I make a flirtatious joke? Offer rose, kiss hand, all that shit. You know what? I might just try and challenge myself a bit more. I might try and woo two sims at the same time. I'm going to get things in a good position with Don. Maybe I'll woohoo with Don or something. And then I'll go to someone else's house. So that as soon as I'm done with Don, I can go straight to the next, the next sim on the list. Oh, first kiss. There we go. Should we ask if Don wants to be our boyfriend? Now, I am a bit worried about him turning me down for a proposal because I think he's non-committal, which isn't, isn't great. And then we will we'll go woohoo in the shower and then we'll pop over to someone else's house and get the wheels in motion for our next marriage. Hey, guys, why don't you woohoo? Why is Katrina so pissed off? You annoyed because I'm getting some and you're not, Katrina? Is that your problem? Are we going to go woohoo? Yes. Okay, great. Great. Now, the next stop on the list, um, we're going to go break up a family. We're going to go to the Delgato house because their house is worth quite a lot of money. So I think it would be silly to pass up the opportunity, you know? Right, let's propose to Don and then we will... Wait, I thought you guys already asked... I thought you already asked him to be your boyfriend. Oh, ask him to be your boyfriend. Okay, now let's go for a wander to the Tel to the Delgato house. Yeah, look at the size of that house. That's got to be worth something. Go and knock on the door. Oh, is that a toddler there? Oh, sorry. It's going to ruin your family. Murder your father. Oh, mother, actually. Maybe I should switch it up and go for the chick this time. Hey there, Sapria. You getting everything you want and need from your current marriage? Would you like an upgrade? Oh, we are so charming. Compliment her outfit as well. Yeah. Will she accept the rose? Of course she does. Okay, yeah, we'll do some flirting. Like taking candy off a baby. Piece of piss. Why do you keep contacting me, Joaquin? I've had everything I need from your household. 
I wonder if I can leave things with Sapria as like girlfriends and convince her to leave her spouse. I'll convince her to leave her spouse, then I'll go marry Don, kill him, and then come back for the leftover scraps with Sapria. Very calculated. She's just always going to have that widow mood buff, isn't she? Okay, I think we're going to go seal the deal with a cheeky woohoo. Why is Eliza calling me? No, Eliza, I don't think you should try anything new. You're dead. Okay, so Sapria convinced to leave spouse. And then I just have a few errands to run, Sapria. Don't mind me. I think I just convinced her. Yeah, perfect. Okay, well, um, I just got to pop out now, Sapria. But I'll see you. I'll see you very soon. Back to the old Calientes. Hopefully Donnie is ready for me. Okay, can I go and propose to Don now? Propose, there we go. Ask him the big question. Hopefully, oh, it looks like he is going to say yes. Perfect, perfect. And now we shall elope immediately. Not now, Sergio, I'm busy. Elope immediately with Don. Okay, so we are officially married. We will go ahead and move in and then we'll move the Caliente chicks out of the house. Okay, ladies, it's been great living with you for this short period of time, but I think now it's time that you all fucked off. This is me and Don's house now. Sorry, ladies. You can join the roomies household. I'm sure you'll live very happy lives. Right, well, Don, uh, now is the time. I am sorry about this. We'll do the old romantic backstab. Hopefully he doesn't try and defend himself. Oh, no, it looks like I'm going to get him pretty easily. There we go. And we are now a serial killer. She's complaining about the mess. Oh dear, why don't you scrub that blood off? Mop up the little pile on the floor. Let Grim do his job. Could you stop killing Sims? I don't have all day to reap souls. What are you talking about? I'm giving you some work to do. And you do have all day to reap souls. That's all you do. So less complaining and more swiping on that iPad. Okay, so let's um, move back home. And then we will visit maybe one more household before we go back to the Delgato lot. Because I like this multitasking business. So we will rejoin our brother, sell all of the furniture. Oh, 200,000 simoleons. I'm definitely over half a million now. Definitely over halfway. Right, so we do have quite a lot of money in the bank. However, I'm not going to upgrade the house again just yet. I want to get like a really big sum of money... And then we'll just move to, like, the largest lot, probably in Brindleton Bay, and get, like, a mansion next. So before I go to the Delgato house, I'm just going to pop by the Spencer Kim Lewis household. Because I know they have money. Okay, Eric Lewis. Let's go get to know him. We'll just try and put the work in to have a fairly good relationship, and then we'll, we'll come back once we finish with the Delgato house. Go straight into a deep conversation. We've only known you like a few minutes, so yeah, sure. Okay, maybe we'll try a few romantic interactions. Yeah, there we go. There we go. The ball is rolling. Sims are so easy to manipulate, aren't they? Okay, he's walked away. I think let's go to the Delgato house now. We'll come back for you, Lewis. Don't you worry. We got some unfinished business over here. So I think the way I left off with Sapria was that she had left her spouse. So, just turn up at 1am. Alright, where is my woman? Sapria! Oh, there she is. Okay, let's, um... You don't have a high enough friendship to propose. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We'll just ask her about her day. We'll build up our friendship. She's very sad because she got divorced. Well, that's okay, Sapria, because you have me. Maybe she'll feel better if I tell her a joke. Okay, there we go. Straight away, back to feeling flirty. So Priya, it would really help if you would get off the uh, treadmill, maybe. Okay, surely we are friendly enough now to get engaged. There we go. Propose. Okay, perfect. She is very sad, but maybe this will make her feel better. Yeah, it made her feel better. See, I told you it would. Straight away, she's gone from sad to happy. Let's elope immediately. Okay, great. It's funny because now I'm marrying Sims that I am much wealthier than, but I still want their money. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking the other household members should probably fuck off now, including the pets. Sorry, guys. I don't want you around to witness this. 
Maybe you guys can move in with the BFFs? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Delgato, but you gotta go. Kill you with the romantic backstab. Double cross. She's waiting patiently to be murdered. She's like laughing hysterically as she's doing it. Oh dear. Right, scrub the blood off now. And then mop up that blood. Grim, don't be angry, okay? Just clean up this mess and be on your way. That's four gravestones, okay? Time to move out. Bye-bye, Delgato House. I'm sure another family will enjoy you one day. Okay, let's move back in. Oh, 400,000. I'm going to have to do like an inventory check just to figure out how much I am away from that million. So I have 400k in the bank and the house is worth 158. Okay, so I've got like 500 and almost 560,000. So I think probably if I marry two more wealthy Sims, then we definitely will hit a million. So I'm going to have to marry that Kim Lewis guy, or the Lewis guy, and then one more Sim after that. Okay, let's go knock on the door. All right, where's my man? Hard to find him in this huge house. Seriously though, where is he? Oh, here he is. Hey there, hot stuff. How's it going, hunky? Right, I'm thinking for this one, softly, softly... We'll do a few social interactions, a few friendly ones, a few jokes, and then a little bit of flirting. Guys, I do not want a three-way conversation here. Oh, she's getting pissed off. Well, you shouldn't have got involved in this conversation. I tried to shield you from this, Alice, but, you know, you didn't want any part of it, so not my problem. Don't be annoyed with me, okay? Girls gotta get a paycheck somehow. This is turning into an awkward encounter. <laughs> Wait, why did he... T you turn my flirting down now. You were going along with it this whole time. Okay, let's just build up the friendship then. An acquaintance was telling me how much they dislike you. Try being a little bit nicer. Becoming disliked is a slippery slope. Fuck off, Joel. You're happy reaping the benefits of my work. Okay, let's just work on this friendship because this could get awkward very quickly. Okay, okay. We're doing well with the friendship, which is great. Should we see if we can maybe flirt? I mean, that'll probably go down badly, so maybe I'll line up a few more interactions for when that does go badly. Let's just try and make him laugh. I notice he does keep walking away whenever I go and talk to him. But you know what? I haven't given up hope. I'm pretty sure I can still woo this guy. Okay, we'll try a few flirty interactions. Oh no, Alice started a fire. Oh, I hope she doesn't get hurt. Is this your way of trying to gain attention, Alice? Huh? Trying to distract everyone. Unbelievable. Okay, let's try that flirting again. He is very tense. So maybe I can loosen him up a little bit. There we go. Okay. I'm going to convince him that we should be together. You'll be very happy for the few moments that you'll be allowed to live after the wedding. Okay, I think I've got this in the bag now. Sapria's so calling. You wanted to spend some casual time with Becca Clark? I don't think so. Can we go woohoo? Yeah, let's go woohoo. And then maybe we'll propose. See ya, Alice. Okay. Convinced to leave spouse. Okay, perfect. I have convinced him. Now I think we should propose. Oh, how romantic. Okay, let's just elope immediately. Okay. So now we're married. Now let's move the pesky family out of the house. And then we might do something a little bit fun. So we'll get everyone else out of the way, out of the picture. Not really sure where I'm going to put them. Oh, there we go. Free spirits. Go and live with the free spirits. Have a nice life. Okay, so now I have a plan. Now I'm going to take out Eric. Surprise, surprise. And then I think we will move into our forever home after that. He came back to life to change the channel with the TV remote. Okay, clean self up. You know the drill. I told you to stop. My fingers hurt from all the tapping on the damn tablet. What did I do? What did I do? Just hurry up and reap, please. So I can get on with my day. <laughs> Black Widow, outlive five spouses. Okay, so yeah, we're going to move out. We're going to buy a real nice place. We'll move back in with the brother. Oh, shit. 667,000. 
Oh, maybe I've already meet, reached my million then. Maybe I don't need another spouse. She works hard for the money. So hard for it, honey. Okay, so I'm pretty sure my net worth is over a million now. Oh, wait, no. I guess not. No, that was the total amount. Okay. So, yeah, they have 667. The house is worth 160. So they still need like 150, something like that. Okay, well, now we are going to move to the biggest lot in Brindleton Bay. We're going to say goodbye to this house. We're going to get a mansion. So for the first time, our brother's going to be moving off the lot. Okay, we're going to buy this plot of land. I'm going to we'll sell the furniture. We're going to bulldoze that lot. We're going to build like a really nice pink mansion on there. And then our last spouse won't necessarily, like, their money won't be for real estate, but it will be just to have some money in the bank, you know? Okay, so what's my budget? Like, 800k. Okay. Oh, I want this one, but I can't really afford it yet. Okay, I'm gonna save this one. And we'll pop this one down temporarily. And then when we marry our last spouse, we'll replace it with the, the last mansion that I want. Okay, nice. This is officially our home. I wonder if that will achieve my milestone, my lifetime aspiration. Yes. Completed the aspiration. Oh, sweet success. Right, well now we have like a real fancy home. We should probably adopt more of a fancy look. Oh yeah, that's right. That's more like it. Dress like a princess, live like a princess. Right, well, I'm gonna head out and meet one more sim so we can finally... See those? She's wearing Louis Vuittons. So we can finally have a net worth of over a million. And I think I know exactly where to go. Old man Villa Real. It's gonna die soon anyway. Right, let's go knock on the door and see if we can make an old man very happy. So happy enough that he agrees to kick out all of his kids to the streets and give all of his personal wealth to a sexy younger woman. Oh, there he is. Hey there, hot stuff. Oh, well, this isn't good. He's embarrassed. Why are you so embarrassed? What's wrong? Sure, I could get you in a good mood. Okay, he's happy now. That's good. Okay, we'll do it softly. We'll make like a flirtatious joke or something. Okay, things are getting pretty suggestive. We're definitely heading in the right direction. It feels so exciting. I think because I know this is the last one, I feel so close to the finish line, you know? Ask him to be boyfriend. Okay, let's woohoo in the closet. We'll get rid of your stroppy teen daughter. Okay, they're going to go woohoo in the... <laughs> I think they're woohooing in the daughter's closet. Can we maybe propose now? Oh, we need to work on our friendship a little bit more. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. Okay, we can propose. Great. Oh, Jax. I've enjoyed every... Oh, shit. He turned me down. Why? Why did he turn me down? I don't understand. He thinks we're moving too fast. Oh, no. Maybe, um, maybe he knows what kind of game I'm playing. Maybe he's, like, outsmarted me. Well, I'm not gonna let him get away with that. Really dented my ego there. Okay, what if I try proposing again? Our relationship is slightly higher than it was before. So hopefully now... <gasps> okay, yeah, he did say yes. Great, great. Okay, well then, let's just elope immediately. I have an awful reputation. But I have so many friends. It's just the murdering thing, isn't it? People just can't see past things like that. But we all have flaws. Okay, let's move in with the Villa Reels temporarily. We'll kick those kids out. Oh, you know what? I should have just done this the whole time. That would have made life a little bit easier, wouldn't it? There we go. Okay, it's time for the final nail in the coffin. Literally. It's been great having this time together, Jax. There we go. Job done. Sorry, buddy. I'm going to have to create a little graveyard in my new pink mansion. Right, Grim, before you kick off, this is the last one, okay? Promise. Let's move. Okay, now this is definitely going to bring our net worth over a million. The mansion itself was over 600k. We have, like, almost 500k in the bank. We've done it. We have a net worth of over a million. Yeah, gain one million simoleons in a single household. So before we do anything else, we are going to upgrade this mansion. As beautiful as it is, this is the one I had my heart set on. What do you mean, insufficient funds? What are you talking about? Maybe I need to bulldoze this one first. Okay, there we go. 
Now I have sufficient funds. Beautiful. Just take a look at it in the daytime. Oh yeah, that's breathtaking, isn't it? Well, on that note, I think I'm going to end this video here. We started this with a goal and we achieved it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.